let's just continue to push through it because Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Yes, it's me, Ms. Escadaba, and hi Slay Squad, how you doing? Just wanna say a big thank you to all of you that have recently subscribed. Welcome to the Slay Squad. So, today I'm gonna be delving into um, pastels. So I'm gonna be looking at some pastel makeup, but what I'm gonna be using for the very first time is, da 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 da, P. Louise. The P. Louise base in Ruma Zero. Now, I've heard so much about it. It's all over the gram. And um, it, they're meant to be really good. So I'm really going to put these to the test. And I'm going to be comparing it with the Get Set. And the Get Set W7 in white. So it's the eyeshadow base. Now, a lot of you know, I do like this Get Set eyeshadow base. I use it a lot, so we'll see. I did buy a few. Some of you would have seen if you follow me on Instagram. I have bought, let me just zoom you in. I have bought, I really just like the names, just love the names of it. So I've bought the base. So it's a badder black base. And I've bought the um basic color so cosmetic base and it's the basic color and i've got that in vivid violet and i've got the rumor zero which is a bright white and then i have got the metallic one of the metallic bases and that's in extra a f let me just zoom you in so you can have a look and see what those look like so this is my summer wig. Um, I'm gonna be doing like a finger wavy style. If you remember this wig, this is this wig. It blew up YouTube back in the day. Um, I never actually did a review on this. I bought it was when I first started wearing wigs. This is the mummy wig. I have changed it. It was originally brown. I do have a blonde one. Oh, maybe the blonde. No, I do have a blonde one as well. So, but I'm gonna wave it. Put some clips in it near the end. But for now, I'm just gonna focus on the makeup and um, back to the comparison. So I'm gonna test the uh, the base and I will be doing a series. So because I've got four, I'll be doing a series on the P. Louise bases, but today it's mainly a comparison. So I'm, uh, I'm intrigued to see how these work. The palette I'm gonna be testing it against, I've never used this palette before. Maybe I should have done a comparison with palettes that I've used, but I'm gonna try it with the MUA Makeup Academy Professional, and this is the Color Burst palette. I didn't wanna spend money on a new palette. Um, this kind of leads me onto my next point, which is my Patreon. So if you wanna sign up to Patreon, Patreon is where you can support YouTubers and creatives to do their art. So basically, um, I've got a few palettes, as you would have seen, I've talked about, I've got quite a few palettes, but at the stage that I'm at, at YouTube at the moment, I can't afford to be buying palettes just for them to be sitting there picking up dust. So, hence why I went for a cheaper alternative. Um, I wanted something that I could start to use the, um, the pastel looks on. So, um, and I know that in your ways quality is quite good. So I thought I could spend a £20 palette or I could buy, I think it was five or six pounds. I will put all the information in the description bar below, but I have not used it yet. It should be a good palette to use and it's on the cheaper end. So, you know, I have got palettes on the higher end as well, but um, I want to see how they how these palettes perform um yeah so it is a beautiful palette it's a gorgeous palette so let's get the bases on i'm gonna do the p louise base on this side and the get set on this side i've got an idea of what i want to do so hopefully it comes out 
have all need to come out. You know, you would always expect. Any questions from this court? This court. Hey, ladies, touch them up. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! These are two flat brushes. They're, I think they're MAC dupes. Yeah, they are. There's the P. Louise on this side and the W7 on this side. So I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand first. Uh, not sure how much to use. I've only just used a little tiny lip. So let's see. Okay, it feels like the W7. Okay, this feels like it's going to dry down fast. Put this on my whole eye. Okay. I'm gonna have to use a little bit more. It feels like it dries pretty quick. I hope it doesn't dry too quick because I like to apply my eyeshadows to a tacky base. So let's see. Now I like to put a lot more base down than that. So let me just make it smooth. I'm not sure if I like that it's dried down so fast. So let me try this side now. Like I said before, it's emollient, meaning it's it's like oil based, and that's a lot thicker. It's a lot thicker, and it gives you movement time. And I only had to do one dab of that. Interesting. Yeah, it's a, there's a lot more slippage with that. Put some underneath as well. Interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Hmm. They're actually looking the same at the moment. Let me go back in and put the Rumor P. Louise base on there. Now, the good thing about these, I have wanted them for ages, and um, somehow in this lockdown, she had a 50% sale. So, I was like, it's neither, it's either now or never. I either get them now, I'm not gonna get them at all. Okay, it seems a lot not thinner. Yeah. Yeah, this side looks a lot brighter. Onto the palette now, let's see how this performs. I think I'm gonna go in with, now these, this palette's got, it's got numbers at the back. So, 1 to 15, there's 15 shades. Your mattes are 1, 3, 5, 9, and 10, and 11. Eyeshadows is just, it says eyeshadow, and then got high pearl, 12 to 14. So, hmm, I'm really gonna go in. I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be wiping off the brush as I go. This is from the um, Morphe 18 piece brush set. set. This is from the 18 piece brush set brush set so I'm gonna go in with matte eyeshadow number five so yeah I'm gonna load that up ooh, ooh. so you can see the pigment on that let's have a look okay that disappears this might be a total epic fail Okay, it's, it's okay. What I've noticed is that, and I'm patting it on, is that it, it's dried down, nearly dried down already. Just do the shape. And it could be just the eyeshadow, but it's going on really patchy. Then again, it could be the base. We'll find out in a minute. Okay. So let me wipe that off and go on to the W7 side. It creases a little bit, but that's expected it's still wet. Okay. This eyeshadow sticking a little bit better. Going on slightly more pigmented. Spot too soon. Let me see what it's like with the finger on this side first. It's almost worse. You can see the patchiness. Let me try the other side. It's quite they're quite chalky as well. Pastels are gonna be chalky, but it could be 
because it's a cheaper palette but I'm tapping this on that looks it's quite patchy okay I decided to zoom it in a little bit more so so far let's have a look the base is it seems the same that, like I said I am gonna try these with a few different palettes so the next review the next test I'm gonna do I'm probably gonna do it with um, with eyeshadows that I know how they perform so I'm gonna go in with number eight let's see what that is is it a shimmer oh so they're both mattes are you powdery still in the same time pack. just trying to build it up I should have bought a higher end palette because this is not working hmm Big part of me wants to start again, but I'm not going to do that. Let's see what we've got in pearl. 15's a pearl. Mm, let me see if I've got some sort of light blue something to correct this. Or an iridescent. So I'm going to go in with the Black black Light Highlight BH Cosmetics um, palette. Six colour palette. They've got like the pastel -y highlights on there. Yeah. So I didn't really want to have to use it, but I'm going to have to. So I'm going to go in with Queen. And this is already what I'm going to So if I pat it on top, actually if I use my finger, that's better. That's the look I was going for. Okay. This seems to be sticking to it more than normal. Come through a few of these. A little bit patchy in the corner, but I'm thinking that's the eyeshadow underneath. Um, then to the other side. This side, it's lifting. Oh, well, that's 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 something different. This, the W7 side's lifting. It works when I swipe it across. I think. Okay. Peel away side, I'm not sure if you can see, it looks slightly better. I'm looking at it in the monitor and you can see right here where it's patchy, the peel away side is a lot, it's a lot better. So now I'm looking at this and I'm wondering if I can save it. Um, this side, the peel away side is definitely holding on to the eyeshadow a lot better, which is very interesting. I didn't think it would because it's drier. This W7 side, I just, I just really want to wipe it off and start again, but I'm not going to. I am going to continue. I'm near the ending of my basic look anyway. This palette, by the way, has loads of fallout. Let's continue. Let's just continue to push through because. This, this is just, yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with number six. I think that's a map. And that's just gonna go into the gap. Okay, that goes on, ooh, okay. That orange goes on pretty smooth over the PW's base. That's gone on, that. That's gone on nothing, okay. I wanted it and it's worked. I wanted it to look like a, a flesh tone. So let me wipe off the brush and go on the W7 side. Okay, it goes on a lot thicker. And it's starting to, the blue is starting to come off. Mm, that's, that's fine. Let me see if I can just lay these colors down and then see what I can get from it. Yeah, these sides. It's really interesting. I really thought my W7, I was loving it. The P. Louise side looks quite decent considering that um, I'm using a palette I've never used before. It's a cheaper M palette. Um, I had did have high hopes with, and it's, it, it's working brilliantly on this side. This side's look a little bit darker, like the, the orange looks a bit darker. Let's continue. I'll do, let me just continue because if I just keep stopping then talking in between it's just going to take too long so I'm feeling that pink okay it comes up 
like a fuchsia, it looked pink in the pan. And now for the W7 side, it does have a lot more stick in power. See, if you can see, it looks a lot darker. Yeah, I think I'll bring that out underneath there because that's where it wants to go. And it's not sticking there. Yeah, it's more pigmented. It's hard to explain. Hmm. W7 signs are a lot more pigmented, but it's very patchy when putting the product down. In it put some little some colour dots on top using the P Louise and the W7 again. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit more on the back of my hand and I wanted some circles so I'm going to use the end of this LA Girl pencil. I just wanted something circular and let's see if this works. Let's have a look. So right above two Let's do another one in there. Okay, just gauging it and then do the same with the W7. Let's just make sure I don't get too much on there. See, I'm having a little trouble with it already. They're not quite even, but and then just change to Peter Wee's side. What I'm gonna paint, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put try different pastel colours in on those just to see what it looks like and how well it sticks. So I'm gonna go in first with this green looks nice, so green. Oh, that's nice. That's that's holding me really well. I think I need to use a smaller brush. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Wipe it off. Yeah, it's a lot more tacky. The W7. If I can turn the left, go in and wipe that one. So strange. It just doesn't seem to be sticking. Oh, and it's clogging. Now in with I put the pale pink underneath. I'm gonna put the bright pink on top yeah as you see it's like dripping let me get a cotton bud oh that in with that yellow which is number nine um use as many of these pastels as possible then in with I'll use one two three four five six seven then in with pastel green okay very personally and which is the last color I should use Pastel orange. Let's see how this works. Okay, that's there's a lot on there. I'm gonna go in with the black. Let's see how that performs. Let's keep going. Let's see what happens. So I'm gonna put some lashes on and then I'm going to come back and uh, put my face on and we'll see what we're left with actually before I do that I think I'm going to put a line on to see how that goes for that I'm using the collection crystal I am gonna have to go in and try and finesse this side a bit. It's it's terrible. It's really bad. Right, let me try mixing the two blues again. 
more I'm trying to mess with it is that as you can see right there it's patchy mm, let me see if I can tap it on top you tap it tap on this highlighter and build it up and then go over with all that I think that's the best that's gonna get. And I just only wanted it to be a comparison anyway, but I didn't, I wasn't expecting this. It's quite an all right black, you know. It's not the blackest of blacks, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, put finish off my base, and I think I'm gonna put some crystals. We'll see. And um again is how which side I'm gonna go with. Hmm. So um be right back to finish my base and uh, yeah, my lashes on, welcome back to you. I'm back and I'm gonna put um the pink kind of disappeared. So I'm gonna redo the under eye, I'm gonna put back on that pink. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to reapply a little bit of the P. Louise Room Matte underneath both because they've disappeared. And then I'm going to put the, not under both, I'm going to put W7 under one eye and then the P. Louise under that eye as well. Blends pretty well. Wipe that off and then in with the W7. So back in with the pink and wipe that off. I'm using the both pinks, I think, just to try and see if I can get a bit of depth going. You can see that coming up a bit. I'm going to go in with that red one color I haven't used. Yeah. That red works and then I think I'm just gonna give it one last smudge with that dark purple and then for the inner corner I'm gonna go in with that let me see is it a shimmer orange it's not quite a shimmer orange I'm gonna use the white and that orange and see what I get yeah that's quite pretty much try and blend it in you can't really see that it's disappeared so I think I'm gonna go back into the BH palette and I'm going to use a shimmer I think it was that so this is the final look and um, yeah like a flapper girl kind of look and that completes the um, comparison review and so you had the P. Louise on this side and the get set on this side let me know which one you think works best I definitely feel like the P. Louise it just managed everything a lot better the, um, the eyeshadow stuck to the product a lot better um, I'm not gonna lie, the Get Set, which was one of my favourites until I did the P. Louise, it's still a bit wet, it's still a bit tacky and wet, it hasn't dried down and it's broken up on that side. This side's broken up a little bit but nowhere near as much as this side. This the, the side with the Get Set W7, it's really, yeah. It's, yeah so just focus on this side this is the better side so I'm quite pleased with how that's turned out actually so that's the end of that tutorial comparison I suppose I think I'm definitely going to be using P. Louise a lot more now with a lot more products but as I said I've got the black one the purple one and a metallic one to do um, a video one so I can do a really good comparison. So, thanks for watching this uh, video. Hope you're staying safe and sane in this um, time of isolation. And uh, remember, 
even though you like I said you're on the couch even though you're just walking around you can get a little exercise remember go slay your day bye see you on the next one